Welcome back to Switched to Linux. Well, today we are going to return to our Cubes tutorials and we are going to talk about how to deploy Firefox policies across all of your different VMs. This is going to enable you to make all of your security adjustments, everything that can be done inside of policies, you can deploy that across your system. Go ahead, get that into one spot in your template, and then every other VM that you create will automatically have that. Now, in theory, you can get extensions to working the same way, and I'll talk briefly about that in the video. I have not been able to get that working despite following all the instructions according to Firefox. So um, maybe there's some step I'm missing in there, uh, but I just cannot get those parts to work. But at least most things that we need to be done can be done in policies. Uh, I did not look at search engines or the basic configurations. Most of that stuff is stored inside your home directory, so that's not going to cross over. But if it means that we have a whole lot of stuff finalized and we need to go in and simply adjust our themes and add a search engine for our new VMs, that's actually a lot bigger step than doing everything and following the entire hardening guide. Of course, I did a video not too long ago looking at the 2022 Firefox hardening guide. You can have a look over there for more details about hardening Firefox. Fox. But on this one, we're going to focus just on that policy section and deploy a simple policy across all of our VMs. Starting from the cube manager here, I turned on the personal and the vault VMs. The personal I needed to get in here because I needed the access to the network. And from this, I just went on into the personal, enabled the files, and then I went down to the other locations and accessed my NAS. I've since turned the NAS off, so I'm not going to do this step again. The NAS enabled me to copy the file for the, the JSON file for the policies. I shouldn't have closed that window. Let me just go ahead and get that back open up there. That allowed me to copy the policies file that is on my NAS for future deployments. Then I end up just copying this file down over into the vault just so if I want to make some regular changes to it make some adjustments I have a good offline place it's not in my personal files you can right click this and copy to other app VM and copy it you can move it you can edit it you can view it in the disposable VM so if it's a suspect file that you've just downloaded you can view it in disposable so that uh, it won't uh, move but you just go ahead and hit the copy and then this is the source and then you're gonna pick the place where you want it to go and I selected vault and push OK so that's the only thing that we need to do from there with vault turned on now I'm going to head on over to files and inside here you'll see this cubes incoming folder this is what's incoming from other cubes this is the cube it's incoming from and this is the file that we have so I end up copying this file over to documents to keep a working file over here open this up with a text editor and these are the policies that I have and some of these are now old and out of date so they're not going to work but that's okay we'll use this to illustrate what is going on so before we talk about what we do from here I'm just gonna keep this open here Let's go ahead and start up our Firefox on our personal just to show that policies are not enabled right now. It is about colon policies. You'll see that the policies service is inactive. All right, so I don't need the personal machine right now. Let's go ahead and shut it down. Now what I did is I booted up the template VM for all of my templates. So any of the VMs based on this Debian 11 will be changed by the adjustments that we are about to make. Now, why is it that your changes to your basic Firefox aren't deployed across all of your systems? Well, oops, that's not what I wanted, I wanted the files. That happens to be because the changes in your Firefox are stored up here in the .mozilla folder. So all the changes and adjustments that we do to Firefox are up here. This is folder here, the home folder, the, the home directory, as it were, is ignored by the app VMs. But anything inside of your other locations are not. And so what I ended up doing here is I go into the documents and I created this file. Now, I could have uh, probably should have just moved the file over, but let me just go ahead and show you how you can 
copy and paste a file as well if you just need to copy and paste contents. So we'll go ahead and let's pull up just a text editor here for Debian. And then we're going to pull up also, uh, this is the vault documents. Let's open this up in the text editor. Now, if I want to copy text in between, so we're going to come to our source file, hold your shift control copy. You'll see it says it copied 453 bytes into the global clipboard. Come back over to our document here, shift control V and then control V. I, I found it do shift control V and then control V. That's what copies the text over. So then we make any adjustments that we want to make to it. It looks like I've actually edited it after uh, I did this one as well. One, two, three, four. Oh no, we're, we're good. This is the new version. All right. So once I had this guy set up, I went ahead and saved this uh, just inside, you know, wherever documents maybe. And I called it policies.json inside of the Debian 11. So let me just go ahead and cancel that. Close this, close without saving and show you inside the Debian documents. This is the same file. So now what I did with it is I needed to get this into the direction that it needs to be in. So let's go ahead and close down the vault. We're done with the vault for now. So we'll go ahead and shut that one down. So here we're going to need to go into our terminal for Debian 11. So I do have a whole video on hardening Firefox where I went into a little bit more detail on the directories in here. But as it is, head on over to um, usr slash lib slash Firefox ESR slash distribution. And inside of here, uh, what you'll have is if you just drop your policies file in here, then you will be able to uh, you will be able to deploy those policies across all of the other VMs. So if I just do a nano and look at the policies back here, this is my test file. So I did this just to test to make sure it works. So we're going to go back to our um, documents. And here's our policies.js. We're going to do sudo and we're going to copy this file over into USR. Well, USR, not USB. Lib slash Firefox ESR slash distribution slash policies.json. Once that is done, we just need to verify it's there. It should be there. Let's go ahead and do this just inside of the files just to kind of give you guys a GUI look on this as well. There's that. Here is our USR. Here is our lib. And here's our Firefox ESR. Here's our distribution. You'll see it's a symlink. And you'll see that now we have the policies.json. So, of course, you have to shut down your Debian 11. So shut that guy down. And with that guy shut down, now we can pull up any of these other machines. Let's go ahead and boot up STL as well. We'll open up the personal as well. It should probably be about the same for either one. And with these guys started up, let's go ahead and find our personal. Open up your Firefox. And now we'll do our about slash policies. Now you'll see that the policies are deployed across. So of course, here's the errors. These are the ones that used to work, but they don't work anymore. So I need to clear those out of my global one. And then these are the ones that are working. So I'm disabling app updates. I'm disabling telemetry. I'm disabling uh, location requests. Those are all working. So that's good. We can verify the same thing would happen in the switch to Linux one as well that we created per, uh, previously. So here you can see that now these ones also are deployed across. So now we have our policies. Now, in theory, it is possible to use the same principle to deploy extensions across. And what that would look like is inside of your USR lib Firefox ESR distributions is you create another folder called extensions and you drop your extensions in there. 
I have done that and I could not get those to work. So if you have any advice as to getting extensions also deployed across, please go ahead and let me know in the comments. Uh, I did all of the basic testing. I was at this for a good few hours and um, could not get that to work. Let's go ahead and wrap up one more final thing. And that was, uh, remember the full screen uh, ISOs and people are saying, well, you need to reboot, whatever else. No, I did all that prior to recording the previous video. It would appear it's a bug in cubes right now because a lot of people are complaining about that. It showed up at 4.1 and it didn't really show a real good way to get around it. So that is, uh, nevertheless, we can get a lot of things done in policies. So take your time, develop a really good policy, keep it in your vault for regular adding and updating, and then just redeploy that across your uh, your uh, template VMs to anything that you want that Firefox VM to be, um, uh, the policies to be uh, deployed across. So hopefully that has been helpful. So hopefully this video has helped you in your cubes tutorials to build a better, more hardened, more security audited cubes. And hopefully that these tips will uh, be able to be useful for you in other Linux endeavors as well. Thanks for watching. Have a look at our website at switchtolinux.com slash support for ways you can help support the channel. With that being said, thanks for watching and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.